Hi guys, welcome to the Jada. So in the previous one, I showed you that we are gonna build this to do app, uh, which which has Firebase as its backend. So I have improved it a little bit, uh, look wise. So now you can uh, add tasks with an enter button, and then you can also mark them, uh, and it like you know it shows uh, different kind of icons there, and then you can delete them, any of them, and it will go away. So this is what we are gonna build. This is gonna be simple, but I'll try to explain a few things in details. All right, so let's get to it. Now I'm going to use Swelt Kit. Uh, it's gonna be, I mean, I can just use Swelt and it's it's gonna be okay, but I'm gonna use Swelt Kit because uh, it will help me in creating other pages. If I have a different page, it's gonna be easy. With Swelt, you know, you have one page and you have to manage that you, you can have routes but uh, when we have swell kit why go there so I'm gonna use um, node 16 here after that I'll uh, initialize uh, npm init uh, swelt at next in this directory that I've created swelt to do uh, it will download it I want a skeleton project I don't want any of this to clear now I have to install the dependencies in PM install. On the left side you see that you know the folders have come up. Now if I do npm run dev, it should serve in the uh, Okay. I go back here. Now I have this. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna open another terminal for opening it in a okay, I'll open it in VS code okay now we are in VS code in source we'll have this index this is what is uh, being shown there now if you want a simple to do app without any JavaScript you can just use this I mean you know this this, is, this might seem like a joke but uh, you can just have this and this can be a, the simplest to do app right so something like this and then I can also add uh, this and uh, another task get bread or, or something right now yeah this is this is a to do app right so uh, if I get this completed I can just remove it uh, and this uh, I mean if I complete everything I can just remove all of it so a text area is a simple to do app or you can just use it as a note-taking thing there but uh, it's an inconvenience to you know remove things I mean you, you should be able to do it in a click and you may want it back and you will not be able to do that uh, if you are not on like a computer I can do control Z and do it um, so uh, I'm just telling you that you know this 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 can also be a to-do app but what we are building is different we are gonna have uh, user interaction just by click we can add tasks we can also delete them and uh, they will not go away on refresh I mean if I refresh here uh, it will still be there the tasks uh, but uh, in this case if I refresh you know it's gone right Anyway, so uh, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, now let's start building a to-do app. Now, how a to-do app would look like, right? So basically, most of the uh, apps are nothing but an array, right? So it would be like let to-dos equals an array. Array of items like uh, get milk. Okay, I have. Uh, get x and then I will have uh, get bread or something okay I have these three now this is a list of uh, arrays now I can uh, show that in in uh, swelt it's pretty easy to show each to do's as to do okay now I can uh, end it and each Maybe use a um, an ordered list, or maybe ordered list because we want to show the numbers, right? So I'll use 
ordered list here I'll just space it out okay now inside it's showing me a lot of errors here uh, since I don't have anything inside inside I'll have allies list items and then uh, I'll have to do and uh, it should be it if I go back here it should show me uh, it isn't showing that yes I have now this is a list right now what happens is that you know when we we should have an option to you know, remove and add things to it that's all we are doing here uh, with some animations or with some icons and everything now that's all is gonna be there in most of the apps uh, there is a extended version of this so they will have an array and array can have items uh, I'm having a simple string here it can have things like objects inside this array something like let's say you know uh, it can have title as, or task as get milk okay so that's one and then it can be it can have something like uh, is it complete is complete and it can be false initially and I can also have uh, time it's created at I'll call that created at might be zoom out a little bit created at and it can be you know some date okay 2021 08 06 or something right it's uh, could be date could be anything like I'll have it in the string now otherwise it's not gonna make sense now this is this is, a, this is an object of uh, this and I can remove this here now I have uh, uh, object array x get uh, bread right. all of these are false I'll make one of them true I'll tell you why I'm doing it now if I go there you now I'll see object object because you know we have to change here to do dot task and we'll get the same thing but we have some other details that we can use um, something like let's say um, I have a class here which is a complete it's a complete class class name is complete which depends on is complete okay so if is complete is true then the class will be uh, you know, this class will be complete okay? this class uh, this item will have this uh, this li will have a class of complete otherwise it's not gonna have that now I go to the style tag and I will do dot complete and that's the class and I will do text decoration uh, line through okay now if I go here and refresh is complete is not defined oh, okay to do dot is complete you see that get x is like because yeah, yeah, is complete is true if I do another one as true and that will also be striked out now this concept of uh, um, how we are gonna display it was important before I go to like uh, an import and then you enter something on the import and then this array updates right so that was important uh, now that's out of the way now we can just use this and continue with this because this looks good maybe I will not use li and uh, ol uh, this might mess up our app but let's see if what we can do with this now one thing is we have an input right and uh, it's of text and uh, when something is on uh, uh, change right we can have on change or on input uh, both are fine we are going to run something maybe on yeah you know uh, let's not do it here let there be input but then we will also have a button so that that should be good we'll have something called add okay now when this is there yeah so we have add we can uh, bind it to some other value now we have to do's I'll have something called let just to do it's a individual item okay mm, it can be an empty uh, object but 
let's see uh, now I will bind I cannot type bind value value of this to uh, to do dot task like my throw an error because you know it's not a object I'll make it an empty object right? a to do is an empty object or I can also do this maybe uh, task to do will have task which is empty to do will also have is complete which will be false initially it's not complete any task you add newly is not uh, created at will be a uh, new date in javascript new date is like the current you know time uh, let's have that um okay now if we have to do dot task and we'll also have a placeholder here which says add a task and on clicking this button we want to do something but we'll see what is happening here so we can add something but nothing happens it doesn't add to the list here now we'll do something on click right we'll run a function uh, we can call that add to do okay and now it's showing an error because add to do is not there i'm gonna add it here now constant add to do equals uh, we you know we already bound this uh, with to do dot task so that's enough actually we can just use that here all right add to do and then uh, what we do here um, we'll take to do's is the array we will spread that out here to do's and we will add one more thing which is to do all right now when we run this to do's task will already have this value whichever is in the input it will be bound i can actually show that here with a console log a console log to do to do is the individual item it it is empty the task will be empty initially but then when you enter something in the input it will get that i am seeing double here okay it's not just me i think all right uh, okay so this is to do so right now the task is empty that you can see here um, once i start typing you see that task gets updated right i'll add uh, get uh, chocolate or something okay now if i add it, it comes here as four awesome now that's that's fantastic uh, we we have a to-do app a simple to-do app within like 35 lines right so uh, most of it like you know this is because i already had some data here which i can remove but let's see how the um, let's see what is to do right to do i'll have it as a table console.table to do and let's see how it looks like i'll clear everything now i'll add uh, get chocolate right. and uh, this is how it looks like index uh, and it's is complete is true or false and then date only one of them is showing the proper date the one we added uh, yeah so if i remove all this and maybe it, it becomes less than 30 lines so we have an app uh, in less than 30 lines i mean if <laughs> yeah that's a convenience anyway now um, let's start adding uh, get milk okay so i can also make it like you know when i hit enter it, it takes the value so i can do that but for now it's fine and also i want it to be cleared now i'll do that here now once this function runs like updates the array we want to do something like to do dot task equals empty again okay so that way once it is added we don't have that again now uh, get milk and I add it ah did it run before this 
<laughs> now when we add something here uh, let's say a and then we add b uh, it's rewriting it the reason being you know we have this let to do outside of add to do now we may have to move it inside now when we do that uh, we'll have to update this so i will you know uh, bind this to some other variable i'll call this call it task and uh, let it be empty before and then once it is updated we can have it here so by the time we add it the task will be updated by the value of input so uh, that will add it so everything looks good now so let's uh, let's see how it goes uh, get milk if i add it i get milk you know this here uh, get x that's adding get bread oh, that adds it so it doesn't overwrite now uh, now another thing is you know i don't want to clear this out every time so i want it to happen automatically which we can do it once we are done adding it we can actually do uh, actually reset to do, uh, reset task just the task so again uh, now if i do get milk add so you see that input automatically clears get bread yes so this is a nice ui so this is it for this one um, in the next one, I'll show you how we can uh, mark something as completed um, on our own by here. And uh, probably we'll uh, look into how we can integrate Firebase here. All right. So I hope you understood how this works. And this is you know, within uh, 30 lines of code because, you know, we, I have a console here. If I remove that, it's just 30 lines. So that's how easy it is to develop a to-do app in Swell. If you have ever developed to do app in a, in vanilla JavaScript, you'll know the you'll know the pain. Uh, it, it's hard. It's really hard. It takes a lot of lines of code, but in Svelte, it's so easy. I like it. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.